which of the graphs represent the following two linear equations? Let's start with our linear equation that only has one variable and solve for that one variable. 6 is positive, so to do the opposite, we need to subtract it from both sides, leaving us with negative 5y equals 3 minus 6 would be negative 3. Then negative 5 is being multiplied to y, so we need to do the opposite and divide both sides by y. These two fives will cancel, leaving us with y equals a positive 3 fifths. So now we need to look at all of our answer choices and find a horizontal line that has no slope that is passing through the point y equals 3 fifths. It is not a because that horizontal line is passing through negative 3 fifths. It is not c for the same reason, but it could be b and it could be d. So to tell which one is the correct answer, we're going to need to look at our other linear equation. And the fastest way to tell the difference between these two linear equations would be to find the intercepts, both the x-intercept and the y-intercept. To do that, we need to plug in 0 for each. Let's start by plugging in 0 for x. So we have 9 times 0 plus 4y equals 7. 9 times 0 will just give us 0. That'll go away, leaving us with 4y equals 7. 4 is being multiplied to y, so to isolate it, we need to divide both sides by 4. y is going to equal 7 over 4. So our y-intercept is positive, meaning we should be crossing the y-axis not in the negative, like in answer choice D, but in the positives, like in answer choice B. So that makes answer choice B our correct answer. If we would have done the same thing, for our y value, if we would have found our y-intercept, or excuse me, our x-intercept, 9x plus 4 times 0 equals 7. 4 times 0 is just 0, so we'd have 9x equals 7. 9 is being multiplied to x, so we need to divide both sides by 9, giving us x equals 7 ninths. Again, our x-intercept must be positive, not negative, like it was in answer choice D. So answer choice C is our correct answer.